uh, I can say this about the ball and Gilly. I wasn't there, but and I don't know Gilly the kid like I know A Ball, but I can tell you this. A ball ain't doing a whole lot of running, especially at that time. He's a big guy. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, when you look at that time, that was all kind of, that was, and last time I spoke to you a little bit about it, uh, MJG and 8-Ball did a versus, and 8-Ball, uh, he kind of seemed like he was calling out the fact that Gilly the Kid said that he was, uh, he, that he basically was running from Jay Prince. Because Jay, little Jay pulled up somewhere. They didn't say where, but he said, you lying if you, you, you run around here saying that, that I was running from uh, Jay Prince. That's a made up story. Gilly the Kid told a story about us running from little Jay one night <laughs> on the parking lot. Um, during the time when you was with Suave House, what was the temperature like between Suave House and rap lot in the South? Well, I can say this about the ball and Gilly. I wasn't there, but, and I don't know Gilly the kid like I know 8-Ball, but I can tell you this, 8-Ball ain't doing a whole lot of running, especially at that time. He's a big guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out Ball, man. But he ain't, so I'm not sure what Gilly was saying. Um, Diggle J. Prince. Get in the car, Gilly. Like, what the fuck is Jay Prince like? Where's the, the receipts for you to come and double back what Ball said? You know what I'm saying? So I don't just see Ball just you taking know, off running. Right. I don't, Jumping I, in the I, car and pulling off real I mean, fast. And, and if he did, then more niggas than Gilly would be able to, to confirm that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we seen Big Ball trying to get the hell up out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, so I, I I don't I don't see it, but hey, you never know. Man. I well, wouldn't know. Well, you know, when I think about just the way that the internet is, when a person say something now, it it just the it, it just rings out, and the people get to hear it, and and they be like, that could have happened, you know what I mean, or this didn't happen because they don't, you know, they, like you said, the receipts are not there. So, so a lot of times, nigga be rah rah, and it ain't nothing to back it. And a nigga, if he convincing enough on the mic. He can, or if he got enough followers or subscribers or whatever he got going, his voice is the loudest, right. so he can just kind of attack the situation. Not saying Gilly was doing that, but I'm just telling you how it affects everything when somebody of that level with that many people subscribe to his channel say, hey, nigga, 8-Ball took off running, and you know 8-Ball may be one that ain't really just in the public eye like that no it more. Should, to me, it should be, if, if you come to find out that you was on the internet saying all this and this and that, and and then just like really trying to just, I guess, make a name for yourself, but it was a bunch of lies. Once the people found that out, then they should ban you. Mm. If they continue to follow you, that clearly is an indication that it is some fucked up minds in this world. Real because time. you are literally tuned in, signed in, giving your attention, time, space, and energy to nothing but lies. Mm. So what does that say about you? Wow. Right? And this is another reason why the world can be shifted and, and we can be uh, persuaded so easy. Because we don't take the time to find out the facts. And the scripture, the scripture clearly says study. To show yourself approved. To show thyself approved. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.